no, they, they reckon the name starts with coffee. The uh, announcements now, because I know that you're all very keen. In It's a pleasure to be here today to open this uh, hotel trade show. Uh, I'd like to first congratulate the Fiji Hotel and Tourism Association and the Fiji Chefs Association for successfully convening the 10th HOTEC event, which has happened after a lapse of four years, I understand. The HOTEC, uh, Fiji's largest, largest hotel trade show, is where local international companies come together, obviously, to, to display their array of tourism products. And this year, there are about 30 exhibitors, I understand, of which 21 are local. And I especially welcome our international exhibitors to Fiji uh, to this event. It's also an opportunity for the local hotel operators and hotel related activity providers to come together and share knowledge and experiences and appraise, appraise others in the latest trends and outlook and growth. At this, this year's HOTEC, we encourage you to use the seminars to come up with the key outcomes that the industry needs to, to continue to progress and ensure the delivery of quality services. Just yesterday, Tourism Fiji successfully hosted uh, Fiji Industry Day at uh, Matundola, an annual event attended by a record number of two, 270 representatives from across the tourism industry. It was an opportunity for the Fijian government to share future plans to grow the tourism sector and also the marketing strategies of Tourism Fiji in, uh, in, that, uh, that they're proposing for the coming year. Our discussions focused on how the Fijian government, working in close cooperation with the private sector, can take Fiji's tourism industry to the next level, which is a $2 billion industry, and on how we can increase the yield and not just the numbers. We discussed the Fiji uh, Tourism Development Plan as government's and industry's top priority at the moment. Uh, Dixon was a part of that. This is a five-year national development plan for the industry that will ensure that the best and most efficient use of Fiji's limited resources in minimizing waste redundancies and overlap. It's about the right type of tourism facilities and services in the right locations at the right time. The approach is one of partnership and close collaboration, and this is your plan. As your minister, I intend to marshal the resources at my disposal to have this plan in place before the end of the year. But to do that, we will need your continued support and assistance. We need the private sector to buy in and actually take ownership. We don't want this just to be government's plan. We want it to be Fiji's plan. This is very important to me personally, and I believe it is critical for its eventual success. At the moment, the plan's in its final stages of consultation, and last week the hotel association was represented, as I said, by Dixon on a, in a face-to-face -face discussion. We now look forward to receiving detailed written comments by the end of the week, sort of keeping everybody on a strict timeline here. But the inclusive approach will not stop at the consultation phase. Even after the plan is implemented, it will be guided by a steering committee that comprises of the Fijian government, industry players, civil society groups and development partners. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't need to remind you how important the tourism industry is to Fiji and to the Fijian economy, it's the largest foreign exchange earner at approximately 33% of the GDP. The total income from the industry stands at around 1.32 billion. The Bainimarama government has, over the past eight years, put in place numerous enabling policies that have encouraged sustainable and steady growth in the industry. For example, the Fijian government has provided a huge and unprecedented investment in infrastructure including the upgrade of our road network, bridges, ports, water supply, and electrification. Government has also made an investment in education that will create a better qualified workforce than Fiji has ever seen before. And of course, there have been a number of incentives targeted specifically at the tourism industry and hotel development in particular. Let me assure you that this level of support and involvement will continue under my watch. 
Ladies and gentlemen, none of what I've just said is meant to take any credit away from you, the hotel industry, for your hard work and efforts to grow and improve your businesses, boosting the industry and stimulating our national economy in the process. Your confidence and commitment to Fiji has not gone unnoticed. You are vital partners in creating wealth and developing the nation that we all love, and I look forward to working with all of you in the future. Which brings me to an important issue that I'd like to raise with you today. A challenge, let's call it. As leaders in the industry, you can contribute to the efforts of the Fijian government to nurture and grow micro, small, and medium enterprises. My challenge to you can be in the form of employment, skills, attachments, internships, or where possible, sourcing Fijian-made and Fijian-grown raw materials, and integrating small businesses into your business value chain. None of this will affect your bottom line, but I assure you that it will make a huge difference in the lives of Fijians across the country by allowing smaller businesses to become part of the tourism industry. I know that many of you are already doing this, and I congratulate you and thank you for your efforts in this regard. To others, I encourage you to consider how you can get involved with this initiative. The Ministry is here to answer any questions that you may have to help make introductions and to provide whatever assistance we can. Bottom line is this, a long-term vision is to develop an internationally competitive, dynamic Fijian economy, which takes full, avan full advantage of our location in the region, our resources, and our people. There is so much untapped potential and opportunities that we need to capitalize on. And I think evidence of that is what I walk past today. As your new minister, I'm committed to maintaining the support for the industry and to continue to implement a holistic and in integrated approach to marketing, branding, and advertising. Ladies and gentlemen, please use this opportunity today to share market intelligence, experiences, and insight that will be beneficial in moving tourism forward. As I said to the representatives at the Industry Day yesterday, you need to make the most of the opportunity of having this event whilst the 2015 budget process is underway. You should aim to put forward budgetary initiatives that are for the benefit of the industry and all Fijians. And you're very well represented by Mr. Sito. As I've said before, I'm no stranger to the tourism industry and coming from the private sector, I know the importance of our stakeholders working in tandem with the government in order to get the best results and fulfilling our vision of a $2 billion industry. Before concluding, I'd like to thank the Fiji Hotel and Tourism Association, the Fiji Chefs Association, and our industry players, and also Vodafone, for their support and confidence in Fiji. I look forward to our continued collaboration and partnership to take the tourism industry to new heights. Ladies and gentlemen, with these words, I officially declare the 2014 HOTEC open, and I look forward to this event being a, being a regular event. Thank you very much.